Malaysia's Prime Minister Mohyuddin Yassin has declared that he's still Prime Minister after a day of high political drama. Parties in his ruling coalition have thrown their support behind him hours after opposition leader Anwar Ibrahim claimed that he had the numbers to form a new government. Melissa Goh is standing by live in Kuala Lumpur with the latest, but first, a look at how the events have unfolded. Another twist to Malaysia's roller coaster politics this year. Opposition leader Anwar Ibrahim says he has the support to oust the current government. Dengan sokongan dan majority kukuh dan meyakinkan bermakna pada saat ini kerajaan pimpinan Tan Sri Muhyiddin Yassin telah jatuh. The leader of the Pakatan Harapan Alliance that was ousted in February didn't say how many MPs are backing him and which parties they're from. Conclusively, we have a, a strong, formidable majority. I'm not talking about four, five, six. I'm talking about much more than that. But the war of words has already begun. Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin used a nationally televised address to outline more stimulus measures for the pandemic hit economy. He only addressed Mr. Anwar's claims at the end. Saya merayu saudara-saudari sekalian supaya menolak tindakan membuta tuli segelintir ahli politik yang sengaja mahu menjejaskan kestabilan politik dan pelan pemulihan ekonomi negara yang sedang dilaksanakan dengan baik pada masa ini. Mr. Mohidin's coalition has a razor-thin two-seat majority in parliament. Dan sedar Melissa Go joins us live now from Kuala Lumpur. Good evening, Melissa. All eyes will be on the King's reaction to this surprise move now, won't it? Indeed. I mean, over the next few days, especially, all eyes will be on the palace, whether the king, Yang Dipetuan Agong, or Sultan Abdullah Riyatuddin, will grant opposition leader Anwar Ibrahim an audience. Now, according to the statement released by the palace this afternoon, His Majesty is still seeking treatment at the National Heart Institute, IJN. Now, the king thanked the people for their prayers and urged all sides to remain calm and be vigilant and adhere to the SOPs closely during the pandemic. Now, the appointment uh, with Anwar on Tuesday was postponed, the palace said, because the king was unwell. Now, there is no indication when the meeting with Anwar and his wife, Dr. Wan Aziza, is going to be held, or if it's at all going to be held anytime soon. Now, Anwar is waiting. Now, he insists that he has the number. It's 222 seat parliament. Anwar will need 120 analysts today to be, you know, to form a secure and stable government. He claimed he has. Now, right now, it's still unclear where the number is coming from. Don? Um, well, without the numbers being revealed and without a meeting with the Agong, is there any pressure at all on Mohidin to actually call for elections? You know, the pressure comes not just uh, from the opposition, but also from within his own coalition, uh, the Perikata Nacional. Now, the ex-ruling party, AMNO has a former tie-up with Islamic Party, PAS, and the Mofakat Nacional. Uh, you know, they firmly believe that if a snap poll is called now, they are going to win big. Now, on the contrary, Prime Minister Muhyiddin, with the Prasatu Party, is the smallest and the youngest, with less grassroots machinery, you know, it's behind. We'll have to think twice, he will, you know, in order whether he wants to continue to be a Prime Minister or not, he will have to win the next election. Now, this... Sabah state election this Saturday is seen as a gauge of his popularity as well, you know, his support. Now, this last election was in 2018. The next one is not due to 2023. And Prime Minister Muhyiddin is currently ruling with a very slim majority. Now, he is expected to call for a snap poll, you know, to shore up his majority in order to stabilise his government, despite the COVID-19 and all. Steve Don. Okay, we'll be watching closely. And thank you very much for getting us up to speed. Melissa Goh, speaking to us from Kuala Lumpur.